I'm Carol Algie from Kerrang in Northern Victoria, Australia. And thanks everyone for joining me this afternoon or this evening. I'm going to show you a few different things um, using the, what are they called? What are they called? The Peaceful Evergreens. Uh, bundle. No, I don't know that I'm using the um, the other bundle, which is the sentiments. I'll go through that later. Um, this is the. Let me see what that's called. It's the Halloween memories. Uh, Two tone cardstock you the colours you get. I'm using the, I think that's, I thought it was Granny Apple, is it? Yep, Granny Apple, uh, Pumpkin Pie, Black, and it's two-tone, as you can see. Okay, this is a line that Stampin' Up! brought in for scrapbooking, and I guess because it's the, it's um, not as thick as cardstock and I'll show you something cool you can do with it so that's so it's a lighter color on the other side and we've got um, that's gorgeous crepe I presume and we've got pool party in there I don't actually do Halloween but I've liked the assortment of colors and then you've got willow white which I haven't really, it's actually quite, it's actually not a bad, bad weight. It seems to be, seems to be a bit thicker, unless I've got two bits together. Have I? No. It seems to be a bit thicker, to me anyway, than the coloured ones. So, so I've gone ahead and diced up my tree. And because this has got a white, um, a white inside it, something cool happens when you emboss it. So we're going to jump over to the embossing stamp and cut. And, and I did find my snowflake folder, you'll be happy to know. It was, as I presumed, under a whole heap of stuff. Not, not under the whole heap of stuff that I thought it was under. Anyway, so I've got one done in the darker side. So I'm going to do the lighter one and we'll see which one we want to use. So I'm just going to try and line that up. And this is the largest tree. So try and line that up as best as I can. I don't know if you can see that. And get that a bit better. Try and line it up and not move it. Pinch it together. And I'm going to go over to the machine and die cut that. Not die cut it, emboss it. So I'm going to take that out. Hello, Susan. Hello, Sharon. Hello, Rhonda. Thank you guys for joining me that away. And the cool thing that happens, because it's got a white core, if you've got some of your girls that came, that um, did a online class during COVID, I gave you all a little um, Stampin' Up! have had, I think I've got some somewhere, the stamping, the um, sanding blocks. So if you just Give it a bit of a rub. I hope you can see that. I'll we'll hold it up to the light. To the light, to the camera. Gosh, I've just been so busy. I'm just not choosing my words <laughs> properly today. So I'm just going to shake that off a little bit. I'll just hold that up to the camera. Once my iPad and my Laptop catch up. I'll see whether I've got that where you can see that. Uh, yeah, a bit, 
further over this side. Come on, catch up. Or am I going the wrong side? Down a bit. Not sure if I need to. It looks fine on my laptop, but not not so much on my. I need to tilt that a little bit. Let me just see. It just takes a while. There's a bit bit of a lag. It takes a while to catch up. I think you can see what I've done there, though. I'm just trying to make sure this is in the right view for you. That's probably better. Okay. Now where's my kit that I cut up? No adhesive mat. Now this is a card I've not done for a little while. I made one last year and um, didn't do anything with it. I've still got it. So, so this is, where did I do this at? I need to give that a good burnish as well. this is how I did it it was the cardstock was 19.3 it's all coming back to me now and I scored it at 14.9 so 19.3 and 14.9 you don't really have to be accurate with this card you just you just can go for it um, and then I've got a piece of DSP to go on the top just there. This is from the. You could use a lot of these ones out of here. I love this pack. It's the Take a Bow paper. I knew the name of that. Why did I not just tell you the name of that? <laughs> I tell you, I'm not really thinking today. Looks good now. I've just ran. I knew I was going to run out of that. Got another one. That's fine. So this is going on the top. Just trying to move this so you can see. Is that good? Yeah, that's better. And then this piece here was. It was five centimeters but once you see what I'm doing you'll be able to just you don't really need measurements for a lot of things you don't really need measurements you can just um, work it out yourself most of us have been doing this for a while can anyway if you're a beginner you probably need a little bit of help so then what we're going to do where's my little there it is Oh, no, we're not doing that yet. We're doing this. We've got to decide. I think... I think I actually like the darker. Let me just put it... This is going here. And it's going to be joined together by our tag, which I've cut with the... Uh, they're called the Greetings of the Season. Yes, Greetings of the Season tags. And I have embossed it with the snowflake sky folder and I've just flicked some wink of Stellaron to that so that it'll all be dry for you guys so I'm just going to put that there just to see which one we want to use do we want the light one or do we want the dark one I think either is fine, but I'll let you guys decide. Just do that and do that, like that. It 
either one would be fine. We'll just, um, while you're letting me know, I'm just going to, this is how I do this. I don't know how other people do this. But I just got a little bulldog clip. I'm going to stick that there. And then I'm going to turn my tag over to the other side and I line it up where the, where the DSP is, making sure I've got a little bit of it on the bottom and a little bit up the top. Doesn't have to be perfect. You do want it. You could just use a whole strip of this of cardstock. Then, because I've got that, I did turn that upside down, didn't I? No, I didn't know if I didn't. Yes, I did. Come down a bit because that's. Oh, I think we need to come down a bit more. We want it to stick and then I'll avoid the hole in the cardstock make sure I don't have too too much glue but enough glue then I'm going to flip it over because I've got my little clip there it's not going to move And hopefully I've put that where I had it before. Hopefully, let me just check. Make sure I haven't got glue. Yep, no, that's fine. I'm just gonna put that there. Now, what did we decide? Dark green, darker. Okay, girls, thank you. And I didn't think I needed to put any ribbon there. You could. What do we think? Do we want some ribbon there? Let's just pop it through because I thought I've already embossed my potentially my greeting. I thought I could do that. And then I don't have the the vanilla version of this. So I will be honest. This is the white. So I thought because I was doing the the embossing in because I didn't want it in the same colour as I wanted it to stand out. So we actually can probably do that. I'm not sure. Now I've got that stuck down, probably not. Let me just let me just tie a little bow. See if we actually need that. I think it actually I think the tree actually goes over the hole. Come on, fiddle fingers. Fumble fingers. Or I guess we could. Do we want to do that? Ah, oh, come on. And then that. What does that look like? What do we think? And while you're deciding, I'm just going to put my white piece. And I'm just going to put, I don't know what you think, but I didn't want, I could have put a whole piece. Another decision for you guys. Will we do a whole piece or will we just do it behind behind the tag what do we think do we need the texture of the of the different color or do we want it all white because you wouldn't want to write there you could put your sentiment there just do it all white and you could put your sentiment there I guess so many options help me ribbon yes 
Okay, ribbon, yes, Rhonda. Just wondering if, what have I got that I could tie that with? If I popped it through. This is what I do when I create cards. I go through so many different options. It's not funny. Now where's my white? Thinking I might just put it through and here's a white here. This will do. If I can get it through, that's the thing. I can lift that up a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> it's tricky. Should have done this before. I'm just going to chop it. Just going to chop it. Just do that actually. Oh, come on. I don't want to tear my whole thing, and then I don't need any white, do I? Now that I've done that. Then, where's our dark tree? Over here. We could, so it doesn't cover up the ribbon, we could do that. Just want to pull it a little bit, a little bit, not too much. Choppy, choppy. If I do that, that's what I did on my other one. And we could put, if we had some, I kind of like, I've just sometimes just got to stop and say enough is enough. Now, what did we think about the Rhonda wants a full white piece? No one else is saying anything, so let's do that. But are we going to stamp anything on there? We could because it can go behind there that you can't see it. Hmm. Might be tricky enough to do that. There's my little, my little stamp it's here. Don't let me stamp on that. And yeah, I want to. I want to um, just. Yeah, I think I want to do that. Bring it in from the edge so you can't see it from the other side. We'll do, oh, what we'll do? Granny apple. Yeah, granny apple because it's going to be on garden green. That'll just give it a bit of contrast, won't it? And if I have it, have one in the middle perhaps. And then stamp off, perhaps either side. Oh, maybe I need to re-ink. Didn't quite, I want that a bit darker. No, I'm going to just go over that one a little bit. better. That's better. Got good trees now. Now while we've got that there, I'll do my envelope. I think because granny apple's a bit, 
of a lighter green. I think I'm just going to go full strength because this is a distinctive stamp, this one. It's a beautiful stamp. I think I'll be hanging on to this one. If it retires, it might go through with a bit of luck. Who knows? Now, I've already showed you what I... Oh, where did they go now? Where did my greetings go? It's, I've got the fan on in here, so they could have gone anywhere. Did I put them... Ah, she's always losing things. I had them nicely trimmed down, too. Anyone see them? Ah, here we go, under here. I could do them oops, right, the right way. Which is which? That's our dark tree. What do we think? Do we like that layout? What do we think? Oh, sorry, Sharon. I wasn't doing anything. I was just waiting. <laughs> I'm going to put this inside, though. Just make sure I've got that. Where? It... Yeah. So you can't see the you can't see the stamping because that would flash. I feel. Oh. Better not put my trees in upside down, had I? That's straight. Um. What do we think of that? We think that's good enough. Or can we think of something else? I did think, I couldn't decide what colours I would want to use. So no, I still can't. I'll show you on my other one I finished what I was thinking. And then I thought I was making that one, so I went and went and cut the wrong the piece out for that one. Oh, I tell you, I am all over the place today. I'm just putting my dimensionals on the back of my little tree. I feel like it needs something. I'm not quite sure what. It has got lots of texture. And I guess it's okay. Now if I'm going to do that, I only want to put, don't want a dimensional there. I'll have one not stuck to my finger. Uh, I've got one on my other finger. Goodness. Goodness, get off me. You go there. And I might have to stick that one under there. Just hide, hide that one under there. Oops, don't want Christmas Mary. Now, just, it doesn't matter which side. Oh, yes, it does matter which side I put that on, doesn't it? And that one, we want the glue just on, just on this side, not on that side, because we don't want to, we don't want to glue it shut. And that isn't where I had it before, is it? Now, my thing go? I've touched my iPad and it's... Oh, here we go. I don't know which 
nice very nice thank you thank you Susan um, what color embellishments should we put girls This is why I was getting stumped, I think. What have I got? Hmm. I have got the red ones, which would look great. Um, you know, because they're not current, this pearlized effects are technically Where's a bit of scrappy paper? Scrappy something I can chuck in the bin. I'm just going to try that and see if it clashes or not. I think that's fine. So I think we might put, not quite sure where to put them, but we're just going to go for it. And our order has shipped today, girls. I knew it would be slow to get packed because of the sale last week. I don't know why Stampin' Up! do that. They always have a sale. Um, and then, of course, we had pre-order, which I didn't do. I'm not doing until January for the new mini, so something stuck on me. We have got a variety of stars we could put on the top as well. That just livens it up, doesn't it? Now you must leave that in this weather it doesn't, I usually leave it um, so that it's overnight, but in this weather it technically will probably be I was going to say cooked. <laughs> no, not cooked. It will technically be dry before I go to bed. Now, I just wanted to show you a couple of other things. This technique doesn't work with the sanding. It does not work on normal cardstock. This is Peacock, and I was going to do a Peacock one, so I've done the same thing. But it just doesn't because it hasn't got the white core it doesn't work so you might have some um, cardstock that we had a few years ago that had the white core but it does work on gold and I'll show you the other one that I've done and I have put my greeting this one's just got half a piece of and how I can show you that without and I've done the trees up the side just something different what I thought with this one I could probably have and I did cut out the Christmas in the peacock I could probably have put my Christmas down there and I probably could have used this little this little thing here, this little banner, to put my Mary across there. But because I already had done that, I didn't. It's on with dimensionals, but you run the risk of um, wrecking it because it's wider than my Christmas. So I did abandon that idea. <coughs> And I'll just talk you, walk you through what I did with this one. Obviously, it's the names of things. Goodness, it's the season of elegance paper. And you get, I didn't realise you got quite a bit. Um, I think you must get three, three sheets of each. I don't think I've used any of the cherry cobbler at all. Um, old olive cherry cobbler. Basic beige and pretty peacock. Have I, have I used all the peacock? 
What did I use that for? Oh no, there's more here. But there's more. Oh, maybe I have used the peacock. I was going to include one for the stamp pack, but it looks like I've got no peacock left, only that one strip. Oh well, we won't be doing that. I could use the old olive or the cherry cobbler if we do that one. The jury's out on that. Um, yeah, so I did the same thing and I sanded the gold. So I've got I've got that look and then I've used the flip side of the paper. I've used the plaid folder and I had to I had it stuck on with um, just the paper but it actually needs the cardstock so that's stuck onto a piece of cardstock and before I stuck it on I grabbed my gold metallic uh, what are they? enamel effects and I grabbed a paintbrush and silly me I thought I'm not going to put it on my block I had this out what do I do automatically put it on my block and then I thought oh heck I hope I can get that off it did come off with some methylated spirits but uh, other people have said when you let it dry it comes off so I don't know so I didn't do the ribbon on that the peacock didn't look right and because I had ribbon underneath the tree I didn't feel it needed it and this is the Christmas from the Christmas labels the actual um, die for that was if I had have used the die it would have been just too big yeah so that's that one and I'll show you the one I did last year, obviously, because it's retired stuff. So it's just, and I didn't put a piece of, because you could write on the, on that colour, it's the Wild Wheat. Love that set. We had some beautiful sets last year. Still got most of them. So yes, um... I'm not sure whether that tree needs anything else. I, I, I've got to know when to stop. And those pearls are from the the pearls that have got the... They've got garden green and they've got peacock and um, a pink. I'm not sure what pink it is. can't remember. Okay. You love the gold one, Sharon? Good art. up the right way first <laughs> I always do that and you can see that I've been to the hairdressers today she's tricked up my hair and like I don't really like it like that but, but it's okay there we go okay so thanks for joining me everyone and I'll see you next week bye bye